This is the uh, Yezu FT950. It's a uh, transceiver from Yezu. All mode 1.6 to 54 megahertz. And uh, I think this radio came out in 2009 and was produced till 2014. This particular one is a late model with the uh, 2.0 hardware which you find out when you actually update the firmware which was done for this one and uh, right now we have it at uh, 20 meters it's a nice display it's a fluorescent display so it's not one of those LCDs that go black after a while not much going on on 10 right now it's still early radio has a whole bunch of features I'm not gonna discuss them all that would take me all day I just wanted to show you that there is a menu which uh, allows for uh, all kind of settings now you can set the DSP for the uh, modulation it has a modulation equalizer so you can set it the way you want in terms of how you want it to sound there is uh, tons and tons of other things that you can set if you really want to know you can download the manual from the internet it's still available from Yezu and uh, that will uh, make it clear to you but in any case I'll just want to show a few things it has a uh, IF uh, DSP which allows you to set the bandwidth for your filters you can also set the shift contour you can set that which shapes the uh, passband filter there is a notch mute tune that is for uh, an external pre-selector that Jesus sells that gives you even better uh, out of band uh, uh, robustness noise out of band strong stations that are uh, that might be uh, a hindrance this clears everything again a um, couple of things has two antenna inputs I have it on antenna 1 now obviously there is a MOX, there is an internal antenna tuner and there is a VOX a monitor you can uh, listen to yourself CB or call that talk back a processor is a very effective uh, speech processor spot is for the uh, CW mode that you can zero beat on a station uh, you can select break in for CW you can uh, put another key around there. AGC, you can set different AGC uh, for the receiver. I have it at slow for single sideband, obviously, but you can also set it at auto so it will change depending on the mode. For AM, you want obviously fast AGC. For single sideband, slow is what you want. Make gain, microphone gain. This is the key or speed. Uh, monitor volume squelts has a very effective squelts that works in all modes uh, this is uh, basically a general purpose selector right now I have it on uh, on the passband as I showed you but when you go to the menus it allows you to scroll through there by uh, adjusting this um, you can go to narrow, wide, with this switch, split frequency, TXW, I'm not sure what that is. This I can't even read. Uh, what that is. Menu I showed you, this is the uh, A and B VFOs. You can copy A to B, A is B. This is the, you can select this here, then you can manipulate the B VFO on this dial 
and uh, now we're on the main dial again oops sorry here now I'm on the main dial fast tuning lock can do that too this is a pretty well-sized uh, volume button volume dial this is the uh, RF uh, gain attenuator this is the uh, Pre uh, preamplifier, there's two preamplifiers, this is two has the most gain, no sorry, this is one, this is two has the most gain and now it's off for uh, 20 meters you don't need, really need to run it unless you live in an environment with very low noise which I don't have here, we have lots of noise here um, band selector you can also do a uh, direct frequency entry uh, I got no antenna for that so nothing to be heard there but you can do that like I said it can do uh, 50 megahertz Oops. I haven't even used that yet and of course it does old mode there too and it even does uh, FM, AM, all modes are possible. Obviously the radio has a uh, CTCSS, the PL tone, so if you want to use repeaters in the FM mode, you can do that too. AM, FM, this is where you want to use the squelch. And now we're back on sideband. So yeah, CW, uh, RTTY packet modes, then it basically adapts the uh, IF shifts to the proper pass band. Uh, you can do all kind of settings for the digital modes, that also has to do with the connections on the back. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm not going to go into all that. It takes me all day, but the manual is pretty clear about it. Clarifier. RX clarifier, TX clarifier, and the clear. So it uses this dial also as a clarifier if you press that. And here we got some more buttons that have to do with uh, the setting here. You can switch bands by pressing that button. If you don't like to do it over there, you can do it with this dial. Now we're back on 20 again. So this is really a versatile radio. You know, like I said, it's a design that's about 10 years old, 11 maybe. But uh, if you play with this radio, then you come to the conclusion that apart from all the fancy LCDs, the uh, radio technology has not improved this much because this is really a nice, uh, nice piece of equipment. This particular one is in mint condition came from an estate sale I don't think the guy has used this much but uh, like I said this is actually if you think about it all you need you don't need any more fancy transceivers it came very good out of the QST tests you might want to check that they compared it to three other radios contemporary radios of the time and this came out the winner I think there was a Tentec in there, there was another ICOM in there. You would have to look it up, but uh, this one came clearly out to winner. And it works uh, perfect. Let's look at the uh, transmitter performance here. So just to check uh, modulation quickly. We uh, have it on the uh, bird watt meter. And uh, we got a 250 watt slug in there. I will switch the, uh, the radio to the uh, dummy load. So we're not bothering other hams. We're at 14265. I have my monitor receiver at the same frequency. And let's see what we get here.
we got uh, 125 watts here at the uh, at the 20 meter band and the modulation sounds very good it uh, is uh, dead on frequency with the other radio now my FT817 does have the high stability oscillator in there so that's why it's almost zero beat now this radio also has the uh, high stability standard installed so it gives off good power there we can try some other bands just to show you that it uh... oh that's CW let's go to sideband here 100 watts at uh at uh, one, uh, 160 meters, I'm not gonna try them all, let's do uh, 28 28, a little bit higher than this we're still on the dummy load obviously and there it is, 120 let's go to uh, 50 megahertz uh, here, 51.113 at lower sideband we got about 110 there. What do I get when I go to FM? And I get that same power, 110. Let's see if uh, FM is actually working. Well. 21 point 51.3 okay one two three four five frequency modulation one two three four five that uh, is working nicely one two three four five this is my uh, audio ASIO. actually it doesn't sound as good as as the uh, 950 and I can add some squelts obviously yep that works too so that's the uh, 50 megahertz uh, band the uh, 6 meter band the radio works there as well let's go back to uh, 14 take it off the dummy load and we're receiving on the antenna again dial runs very nice, like it runs on ball bearings. You can set the uh, brake by tuning this dial behind it, this ring. That allows you to uh, to let it spin with some brake uh, uh, function. I don't like that, I actually like it uh, running free like this, but like I said, you can uh, you can set that. Not much to do. Maybe there is still some uh, activity on 40. This is my noise level at 40. It is just unbelievable. And I don't have the preamp on. If I turn on the preamp, it gets even worse, obviously. That's what you get from above ground wiring. It's like a friggin' banana republic. Anyway, it is too late in the day already and not too many stations make it over the noise if at all propagation is very poor today on 7 mega and 7 megahertz 14 megahertz and on the other bands I won't hear a thing either. That didn't work too well. Sorry about that. I'm frustrated at the same time. Uh, it's something by you that you love. The pretty good signal. Anyway, that's it. The Yezu FT950. And, uh,. Like I said, this particular one is uh, in mint condition. We do have the original box for it. Uh, 
a very nice radio made by Yesu and it still uh, can stand its ground against anything you can buy today no fancy LCD but it does what it does being an excellent transceiver thank you for watching this video